The Nawalog vision is to create opportunities for our young people, get us out onto our lands and territory, to become the stewards of our lands again, to look after beautiful river systems like the one you see here, and to revive our cultural ways and our language. So we've been running culture camps here at our site for three years, three summers. And the amount of parents that have come to us to say, uh, thank you, my son or my daughter has changed. Currently we have 32 people uh, employed with Nawalog, which is pretty significant in relation to our region. And thankfully, we were able to create job placements where 52 of our youth were all over our territory. I have had conversations with our local RCMP, our local crisis line, that uh, when our youth are out here uh, employed during the summer, for instance, all of those numbers crash. We have lived in these same river systems for thousands of years because of the salmon. These trees that you see around us are dependent on the salmon. The bears that you see, the orca, nothing can survive without it. And so the time has come. We have to take this seriously. Wild salmon is on the brink of extinction. And nobody knows what will happen to places like this when, if that were to ever happen. I don't want to think about that. I want to think about what we can do. What we can do is get rid of the farms and start uh, rehabilitating our river systems. You know, when we talk about the salmon farm issue with indigenous people, it goes far beyond economics. It's survival for us. I hope the federal government is committed to uh, putting dollars towards what's needed to transition this properly. I hope that they recognize that they have a responsibility to replace the jobs that will be lost. And uh, this is one model. Nawalo could be a model that could create meaningful opportunities for indigenous communities up and down the coast. And this is for all of us. This isn't an indigenous or First Nations issue.